Hi, I'm back. Ellen is here. We're in Tipworth Forest, and everybody's gone to the Rapture. And we're going to have a little look around. We're going to try and make a map of some of the motion events. I can see Wendy's spirit over there. And we're going to have a nice chill time playing. And we're going to listen to some more of Jessica Curry's absolutely ethereal music. Truly an absolute gift from the heavens. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a wrap. And I think if we go back down that way, we can end up in the autumn. This is true. Just gonna check that that's true. Because I'm trying to create a more cohesive map in my head. I find it very difficult to read maps and orient myself, even in real life. I spend a lot of my time walking around, checking my maps, looking to see if I'm going in the right direction. And if you've been following along with any of my pathologic content, you'll be seeing that I do the exact same thing there too. Oh, the shadows change as you move into Yorton. That's good to know. I do like to see the shadows changing. Well, we had an explore down to Yorton. <laughs> and let's go back up to Tipworth Forest. Sorry to bore you with that. I Again, I know I keep saying it. I've been trying to get the achievements for this game for what feels like my entire life. It's not my entire life. It's I mean, it's been my entire life since I got this game. Minus that brief break where I didn't own a PS4. So, and uh, th there is an achievement if you take all the cut-throughs and go back and visit the last place that you were in. So uh, you're in for the long haul with that, with me, my friends. Ah, there's a tree house there. Going away, uh, Amanda? Oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu if it's going round. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fete. It seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. Must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yops running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered. Free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Wendy really is an absolute weirdo. <laughs> She just had no idea what was going on at any point throughout this. We are getting into this house. I have a feeling that the radio is going to be up in the tree house. Oh, is that one of them books? We found another one of the books, gang! You know I've got to do it. I've got to walk through the sheets. Ah. Uh. 
love it. I just love it. I just think it's neat. I'm already bringing out my uh, internal Marge Simpson with that. This is a well-maintained shed. If I had a shed, it wouldn't look like that because I'd see a spider in it once and then I would just abandon it. How do we climb up a ladder quicker than we walk in real life? Like... <laughs> well, not in real life, but like in the rest of the game. It's still quicker than I walk in real life, to be honest. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 6.07 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. Is, uh... That the date and time? What what year is it supposed to be in this? I genuinely cannot remember. Phone. Got some rich people around here. It got as far as the Haverton substation before we cut the lines. The interchange there just started dialing numbers at random. And the symptoms you're seeing match those we've been tracking here. Sickness, headaches, nosebleeds, eventual hemorrhage, then just light, whatever the hell that means. Then we've got to stop it before it finds another way out of the valley. Clive, you've got to order a strike. What? An airstrike. We have to kill it. No. No, uh, I don't agree. We've quarantined the valley, we've cut the lines, it's contained. What if you're wrong? Are you happy to have that on your conscience? Stephen, I said it's contained. I mean, you contain it eventually. is just full of beautiful music. Hello, Frank Appleton. Break a lost cowboy, this is traveling Sherlock. You can't be over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You'd say this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious, it's not larking about. You'll be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff, and you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll not argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. Don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> I can get up here. Is there anything to be seen up here? That looks like I can keep walking up and go higher. I do want to do that. But I want to continue trying to break into this house first. Because I will be very annoyed if I don't try and there's a way in. 
Right, not from the back door. Is there a gate there? There is, but it, it might not open. We're still going to try the front door, though. See, if I lived here, this would be my yard. The one that's just full of crap. <laughs> Gang. Ah, love this for me. Wait, so if I can walk around this way, how come it wouldn't let me through this one gate? Hmm. Cruel game. Cruel. But considering that I'm also playing Pathologic, it, it could be worse, and I know that. <laughs> see what's up here. I can hear the PlayStation practically just singing. Because it is just begging me to stop taxing it like this, and I refuse. Okay, fair enough. I had a nice detour. See you, Wendy. Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Harvey. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. So she cares for birds, but not for the dogs. Good to, good to know, I guess. See the inside of some more houses. Come on. Mm. 
really is an absolute blessing to be able to take a small, short, slow walk like this. I really don't think it's something I appreciated that much the first time I played it. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy! Come on, Harvey! Come on, Harvey! Come on, boy! Harvey! Harvey! Thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <sighs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, mm, God, this is... You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! I feel like I hear the sound of a motion event around here. I do. And I'm going to uh, kindly ignore it. And we will use that as our safe. See if there's much more down that road. This truly is an absolutely beautiful game. Like, in every sense of it. The music, the visuals, the story to it. Ah, oh, I, I feel at peace here. And Lord knows that is necessary in a life like mine. from Stephen. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. So, presumably, if I was just to keep on walking up that road, I would end up in the next part of the story. <laughs> right, we're back up where the motion event is. But I feel like there's a route down. It really is lovely. Ah, 
Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to climb back up here. Oh, no, 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 I am. I think maybe we'll do this motion event and call that that for the day. Wendy can take us wherever she wants to take us next. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. <laughs> Wendy, you meddling bitch. <laughs> ah, the shadow's changing. Well, when we pick back up next time, we will uh, continue our walk across, eh? See a little bit more of Tipworth Forest. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a relatively short one, and I've mostly just farted about. But I still hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> See you in the next one, maybe. <laughs>